I'm at the RYA Suzuki Dinghy Show and I'm here with Steve Cockrell from Rooster. We're on the Rooster stand and Steve's going to give us his top five kit tips. Wow, excellent. So Steve, what's your first tip? Um, my first tip is you've got to consider if you're trying to warm up or cool down. And so really the first area to think about clothing is your base layers. And you can choose a base layer that can warm you up or a base layer that cools you down. And the crucial thing is that people don't understand how uh, fabrics can either attract water or lose water. And we, we use lycras and, and spandex to attract water to cool you down in hot, sticky days. And we use polypropylene to shed water because polypropylene just has no attraction to water, so it's naturally hydrophobic. So we use those two fabrics as base layers to, to change the way we keep you warm or keep you cool. Okay, so we've got high tech base layers. Yes. What's, what's the next Well, the next, next thing tip? is you've got to consider that. If you're trying to warm up or cool down on the surface of the, of, the, of the water, what happens if you fall in the water? You need some sort of insulation. So you have to consider an insulation layer. And generally speaking, we use neo, neoprene in sailing. And sometimes you might use thinner neoprene because it's a hot climate, and, or thicker neoprene because it's a cool climate. So you've got to choose your insulation layer because you are likely going to fall in the water at some stage. Okay, great. So you've got your base layer, insulation. Which is maybe your neoprene, yeah. And then finally, of course, your windshield protection which is your third layer, um, and we tend to, at Rooster, we use a fabric called aqua fleece, which is a PU-coated fleece, very thin fleece, and one that you can trap at the waist and the wrist to stop flushing, and it just takes all the nasty wind chill from you. You know when you, you sit on the beach and the sea breeze rolls in, and you're playing in your swimmers, and suddenly, oh, it's cold! You just want something to take out that wind chill, and so that's what aqua fleece does for you, it just takes the wind chill away. Brilliant, okay, and do you get much opportunity to get on the, out on the water yourself? And Test your Yes, test I, am, your I am the anorak. Sorry, I think it's the anorak of dinghy sailing. So I've sailed so many classes, it's untrue. And I'm sailing every weekend, you could possibly imagine. Um, so yes, I do get an awful lot of testing, on the water testing with the kit, okay. to make sure it works. So you'll often see me this year wearing something that's going to come out next year, just to make sure that you know, it performs as it should do. Great. Because we don't want to have any upset customers. That's the last <laughs> thing we want. Brilliant. Okay. okay, so tip number four. Tip number four. Um, it would be great, wouldn't it, if all the things we've talked about are interchangeable. Because there's no point you going out and buying four different wetsuits or four different products that, that do each season, but you just literally have to go from one season to the next in a, in a wanna. You want to buy things that you can change, so a top that can slip inside a bottom, say a cooling top with a warming bottom, maybe for the interchangeable times. And so having these all interchangeable is sort of what we do at Rooster. We try and make every product link with each one so they can do different things. The last tip is, of course, um, make sure you, you, when you ask for these things, that the, the person at the end understands what you, how you're going to use it. Are you going to be sailing well above the spray line? That will change the whole pattern of the type of products and how much warmth you need. Because being above the spray line or being in the spray, spray line can change massively how much cooling effect you get from the water. Because water is 27 times more effective at taking heat from your body than air. So, you know... This is why the windshield protection is so good, because it keeps the water off you so you don't get cold. Okay, So it's a, it's a clever, it's a really hard thing to do, is to judge what to wear. Which is why I like to have a selection of different things, just in case things change.